Hello. 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 How's it going? Uh, I'm, I'm fine. What about you? I'm great. You have beautiful lips. Thank you. You have beautiful hair. Hair? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I like the waves. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, I, I've uh, been doing it for, for a while, since I was born. <laughs> uh, how's it, how was your day? How was your day? Uh, it was okay. Uh, I've been working. You've been working? So, Are you from yeah. Belgium, right? Yes. And you're not from Thailand, I guess. Yeah, finally, uh, you're the first person who knows that I'm not from Thailand. You see? <laughs> because people ask me... Am I from Thailand? I'm like, no. Do I look like I'm from Thailand? No. And you have great English. Is it true that in Belgium people speak English like their second language? Uh, no, that's not true. Not um, true? I'm just raised uh, trilingual, actually. Um, because I'm mixed. My, my dad is Belgian, my mom is Chinese, and I was raised in English and Dutch and, uh, Eng uh, and Chinese. So, yeah. Wait. Your your mom is uh, Bel uh, from Belgium and your dad is Chinese no. or the other way around. Ah, the other. Really? Yes. I wouldn't guess actually. You're not the first one that wouldn't guess. <laughs> Anyways, it's a great mixture. I would say mix, not mixture. What okay, is what wrong with you? my English? <laughs> uh, I'm Ukrainian from Ukraine. Okay, cool. Wait, so you moved to Thailand or are you on vacation? Uh, yeah, I'm like a digital nomad. I mean, like, not one vacation. There is a war in my country, so I wouldn't say I'm on my vacation. Uh, yeah. Uh, no. Well, you know what I mean. Yes, I know what you mean. Um, uh, may I ask you one question? Sure. We have this, like, a new movement in Ukraine about segregation, me uh, women from men. I'm wondering, what do you think about this question? Are you uh, like? Uh, do Do you agree that we need to segregate women from men? You know, like um, for example, in in Ukraine, we have the situation that um, we have train, and there is like special train only for women and kids, and another train for men. So women it's can. Already like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We 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 do have this example, and so women can feel safe. You know. What do you think about it? Do you have something the same in Belgium? No, not at all. Uh, everything is just mixed except for the toilets, I would say. Um, <laughs> but okay. I, I think um, it's a very poor solution for a problem that lies elsewhere. Poor solution? Yeah, because the problem is more in, in how you raise your kids and how they uh, behave towards women than like uh, segregating everything, you know. It's not a solution, it's just a temporary uh, measurement that you can do. Well, it is not a solution for sure, but what if, for example, we already have this problem, like that women feel kind of unsafe, uh, so, and we, I don't know, try to implement such rules, like different trains from for different genders. Um, will it help in the future? I think uh, it will help um, in, in, in uh, the way that, um, wait, let me think of, like, uh, for instance, let's say, just an example, 10% of men are uh, rapists, uh, are, are robbers, are bad people in general. Mm -hmm. uh, so in one out of 10 cases, it would help, but all the other cases, it wouldn't matter, you know, and it, it would be a shame to um, apply this rule if, like, uh, the biggest part of the, the the people are not bad people, you know. Mm -hmm. That's what I think. Um, but for now, I think yeah, if if it's really a big problem in Ukraine, then for now it's a good solution. But I think at the same time you should uh, also raise awareness in schools mm -hmm. and within your family, and then and raise your sons to be good men against women uh, and have good values. And and I think that's the best way to start. Uh, temporarily you can do this, but I don't think it's a very good solution in the long term. How come you're so smart? Uh, I'm, I'm not smart, I just have an opinion. <laughs> okay, what's your education, by the way? Uh, my education is uh, product development. 
product development. Yes. What kind of products do you develop? Uh, none, because I finished school and I uh, did something else. I'm now a music producer. So. <laughs> okay, that is so, so different. Music producer, okay, what music producers uh, do? Like, w what do you do? You find talents and you promote them, like products or what? Uh, no, <laughs> I, I don't promote them, that's their job. Um, mm -hmm. My job is to find talents, indeed. Uh, or get talents given to me and uh, I record them, I coach them, I uh, make the music for them in general. Yeah, that's it. Really? I thought that producers, they organize everything and promotion no, as well. The managers. Managers. Oh, that's the managers. Yeah. Okay, I don't know any stars from Belgium, I guess. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm well, so the sorry. The ones we have are uh, Stromae. Have you know Stromae? Stromai? I thought that he's French. Stromai. No, that's that's what everyone thinks, but he's from Brussels. Oh my goodness, really? Yes. Oh. And maybe you know Angel. Angel, the, the, um, it's a singer. She worked with Dua Lipa. Uh, what's her name again? Nickname? Angel. Angel? Yeah. No, I have no actually. <laughs> I don't know, have no idea. Well, it doesn't matter. We are a small country, so the, the chance that you know our biggest artist is not that big. Why there is so, so uh, less of talents in Belgium, by the way? Just because your country is so small? No, no. Um, there is a problem that was more um, occurring before than now. Now it's getting better, actually, but uh, the whole um, subsidy system of the state wasn't working very well for artists and like singers or painters or whatever anything artistic it, it wasn't working very well if you compare it to a, a country like the netherlands mm -hmm. um well they are a bit bigger they have 70 million uh, uh, inhabitants and we have 10 um but their system is so much better and you also see it in the output of how many artists they develop and how many big artists uh, they have Mm -hmm. uh, it's it's not like they have 1.7 times more artists than us. It's like they have 10 times more artists than us. So it's it's the system behind like artists and and just arts in general wasn't very good. The last four or five years it's getting much better. Mm -hmm. Well, it's not like we get more money, but the system is working better. Um, and the mentality is also changing because of that. Before it was like a rat race. Everyone was. Uh, was fighting against each other and now it's more like people are working together and in Belgium together, people different. were fighting against each other you had a revolution no, or something what no no like not not physical fighting but like uh being concurrence of each other instead of like helping each other really uh, I thought that in Europe all are very supportive they support each other no, 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 no. you hate each other right so let's let's be honest it's it's uh it's like uh, envy you know envy some people get envious they get envious because someone else has more success than them and they stop helping them or they don't support them anymore you know it's it's more like that you know but now it's changing that's what i'm saying the whole uh, system is changing the whole attitude is changing so it's for the better okay what was the game changer like what helped you to to change you know what was that that helped the society I think we got sick of uh, looking at uh, the Netherlands and feeling like they were doing much better than us. Mm -hmm. So it was uh, it, it, it kind of created a togetherness that we didn't have before, maybe. Mm -hmm. uh, and that helps. Yeah, I think that that's one of the reasons. Uh, other reasons could be um, um, because w when COVID hit, um, the 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 government decided to cut funding a lot. Uh -huh. And I think that also created a, a kind of togetherness and like we have to do this together because we're not being helped by the government. So maybe we should do it better. And, and then uh, people started like companies and, and, and uh, non-profits to like help artists and to create communities. And when you start creating communities, great things happen, you know, so it's the right way to go. So as I understood you correctly, community is a key. Yeah, okay. So, yeah. yeah, because you can learn from each other, you can teach each other things that you wouldn't learn or teach uh, when you're alone, you know, so uh, if you combine all the pieces of the puzzle, you, you 
get a finished work and that's that's nice you know some people struggle for, uh, with it for years and they don't release anything because they don't have the missing piece you know so it's oh nice yeah someone can help you of course i completely completely agree with you anyway but what's your name by the way Dimitri. Dimitri. Uh, my name is Margo. Uh, Timothy. Timothy. Oh, Timothy. Okay. Yeah. I know one Timothy, yes. but I want to forget <laughs> this, this this name. Uh, no, it's not my ex. Like, not 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 about it. It's uh, it's it's a Russian guy. So <laughs> very famous. I don't know if you know oh, him, but oh yeah, you know him. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. From like a long long time ago, because uh, he had a track with Snoop Dogg or something. I think. Oh. I, don't remember. I guess it's just because of Snoop Dogg, not because of Timothy, because like that guy is so famous. <laughs> well, it was uh, so nice. It's nice to meet you, actually. Yeah, nice to meet you too. Thank you. <laughs>